Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academy Coordinates. In this video, we are tackling exponential functions. This video is directed to grade 10. However, even if you're doing grade 11 or you're doing grade 12, or you are in university or you're even a parent, you know, you are welcome to join us. Grab your pen and paper and let's do this mess together. This is an example of an exponential function, you know. So we're going to look at different maneuvers that are done to an exponential function and the effect that those maneuvers have on the equation of the function. All right, so, okay, f of x is equal to a multiplied by b to the x plus q. So we're going to look at different elements that this equation, you know, um, whole has, you know what I'm saying? Okay, first of all, the value of a is the vertical stretch, the vertical stretch of the graph, you know, and it actually governs the shape, the shape of the function, of the function. You know, as we have stated that, let's say, for example, if A is positive, right? If A is positive, um, our function will be like this. You know, our function will be like this. Okay, this is Y and this is X, you know. And also, you might find instances where A is positive, um, where also our function is like this, right? It's like a reflection, you know, on on the y-axis, right? Okay. And then, if a is less than zero, right? What will our function look like? You know, if a is less than zero, if um, a is less than zero, our function, this is x and then this is y, our function will look something like this, you know, or something like this. Okay, so basically A determines the shape of the graph, you know what I'm saying? Let us look at B. B have got strict restrictions in itself. B, right, B has to be positive. First of all, B must be positive. You know what I'm saying? So B must be greater than zero. You know what I'm saying? Um, so obviously this means that B must not be negative. You know what I'm saying? And also, also, um, B must not equals to must not equals to one because if if B equals to one, I mean just imagine guys, if our B equals to one, whatever it is that um one to the power of something, you know what I'm saying, will always be a one. I mean, one to to one will be a one. One to the two will be a one. One to the three will be a one. You know what I'm saying? So um B must not equals to one, or else we you know we are not speaking about exponential functions. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Then let's look at Q. Q is responsible for the vertical shift of the function. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so if Q is positive, you know, this is positive. If Q is positive, this results into an upward shift and then if q is negative this will result into a downward shift you know looking at this graph right um okay we can we can put a one here we can put a one here then say plus zero you know what i'm saying okay cool this graph for example if we say q is positive what do we mean is that we're going to shift the graph one, two, three, four, up until, you know, like P units. If Q is negative, the graph will, will go like, you know, will be shifted like, you know, downwards. And also, um, there is something so much um, special about Q, you know. Um, let's say we've got, we've drawn our graph like this, um, for example. You know, yeah, this is y, this is x. Okay. 
then here um, okay let's say we've got f of x is equals to a b to the x minus q say q q itself is positive so minus q will shift the thing down once you know what i'm saying so this is um y is equals to minus q for example you know so what is q q is the horizontal asymptote in other words the function will approach um q but there is no way the function will actually touch q you know what i'm saying um you know even if um you feel like it or maybe it's your birthday you know there is no way that this function will actually touch um q you know what i'm saying q will be okay okay that's not the best graph in the world y is equals to q okay cool all right this this graph right will approach and approach and approach and approach y is equals to q but it's not going to touch it you know what i'm saying i'm reminded now of like limits you know of stuff approaching other stuff you know but um not actually touching it but it, but anyway 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 okay so q is responsible whether the graph is shifted upwards or the graph is shifted downwards okay guys i want us to do a quick example here you know um and we're also going to appreciate sketching um you know exponential functions we've got f of x f of x is equals to um one multiplied by three to the x plus zero you know i place those things there um intentionally you know what i'm saying okay first of all we have determined that when we sketch the graphs first of all we're gonna find um let's use a black one there the intercept right okay we know this is x and this is y okay this is the this is the x-axis and the equation of the x-axis is y is equals to zero. Then this is the y-axis. The equation of the y-axis is what? Um, x is equals to zero. Okay, cool. When finding the intercept, you know what I'm saying? What are you going to do? First of all, the y-intercept, you know? The y-intercept, we're going to let x equals to zero. Such that we're going to find f of zero. This equals to? 1 multiplied by 3 to the 0 plus 0. So 1 multiplied by 3 to the 0. 3 to the 0 is 1. You know, anything to the power 0 is 1, right? Um, Yes, okay. So it's going to be 1 multiplied by 1 plus 0. So f of 0 equals to 1. So 0 and 1 will be the y-intercept. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the x-intercept... You know, the x-intercept, we're going to let y equals to 0. This line, this line, or the x-axis, is, um, its equation is y is equals to 0. So, we, we were looking for the x-intercept, you know, where the graph will actually cross, you know, the x-axis. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Okay, and then we're going to set, it's going to be f of x is equal to 0. So, this is, um, okay, we can just, um, it's going to be 3 to the x is equal to 0, right? And then after we just, you know, grab a chill pill and come down and be like, okay, is it possible? Is there a, a number that I can raise 3 to such that I, I, I get a 0? You know, and that is not possible right so this is undefined right there is no number that i can raise three to that i will actually get a zero you know what i'm saying so f of x has no um x intercept what does this mean the graph will not touch or even you know cut the x the x axis right um, okay, at this point in time, we might, might want to like grab a chill pill and, you know, ask ourselves why, you know, could this be the case? I mean, looking here, for example, 
um, okay, we had 2 to the x, and, you know, we are looking at 3 to the x. Looking at he here, for example, this graph, you know, was, was, was actually increasing, 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 increasing. But when it was coming from negative infinity, it, it was actually not touching, you know, the x-axis. But it was closer and closer and closer to it, but not touching it, you know. Um, which brings us to the next um, thing of asymptote, right? Um, um, y is equals to zero will be the horizontal asymptote, right? So y is equals to zero will be the horizontal asymptote, and hence here, when we, we are, when we let x equals to zero. Our function was not defined there. And as you have defined before, that asymptotes, you know, are imaginary lines that the graph approaches, you know, but never touches, right? So, I mean, we're able to actually determine that point, you know. So, um, number three, let's say maybe if they ask you guys, I don't know, to find extra points, you know, you you know, you can certainly do that. Um, it depends on, you know, what they ask you. F of zero we have found f of 0 somewhere here. f of 0 will be 1. I don't know. f of 1 will be um, 3 to the 1 plus 0. This is 3. You know what I'm saying? f of 2 will be um, 3 squared right, plus 0. This is 9. You know, so you can find extra points. I want us to sketch the function graph. I mean the function. Um, our function will be like this. And we know that a is positive, you know what I'm saying? Our function will be like this. You know? This will be our function. And, okay, okay, this is x, this is y. Um, here, here, where y equals to 0, this is the horizontal asymptote. The graph will approach this, this line, you know what I'm saying? But it will never touch it, right? Um, you know, even if you feel like it that day, you want it to touch it, but it's not going to happen. Okay, cool. Let's just continue. The domain of this function, the domain is where the function is defined horizontally. I mean, looking at this function from negative infinity, going, 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 it increases also here. It goes, goes, goes. So there is nowhere where this function is actually undefined as far as, you know, um, 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 x is concerned, right? So... Um, the domain of the function is x, an element of neg from negative infinity to infinity. So, in other words, the function is defined um, from x is equals to from x is equals to negative infinity up until in, um, infinity. So, basically, um, this function is defined everywhere. This function exists everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But now, let's look at the range and see if you're gonna sing the same song, right? Um, the range where the function is actually defined vertically, right? So from here, y is equal to zero. The function is not defined, but y is equal to zero upwards. As you can see, the function is increasing there without bound. You know what I'm saying? So, from zero to infinity, you know the function um is defined, or that's the range of the function. You know what I'm saying? Or you can write this as y greater than zero. You know that can also be another form that you can write the function or the domain here. You can write it as x an element of real numbers. Okay, cool, cool. And then, um, where is the function increasing? The, the values of x, where the function increases. If you look at this, right, I think where the function increases or decreasing, sometimes, you know, if you guys do a table method, that's when you actually appreciate to go to um, here the function is increasing or decreasing because you will actually see this, this will be x, this will be y. You will actually see, you know, live values. You know, that shows the function is either increasing or decreasing, right? Okay, cool. Um, this function is increasing from the base of x where this function is increasing from x an element of from negative infinity up until, you know, positive infinity. So this function is actually increasing everywhere, you know, negative infinity to um, positive infinity. And where is this function decreasing? Where is, this where is this function decreasing? There is nowhere that this function is decreasing. No way. You know, it's not applicable. This function is not decreasing anyway. Okay, guys, that is that was an introduction of exponential functions. You know, this was a basic example that I did. And um, 
y is equals to zero was the horizontal asymptote so i'm um, stay tuned i think on the on the next video we'll actually do an example where um our b here is not maybe um a whole number but it's actually a fraction you know and then we're gonna pre we're gonna appreciate um how the shape of the graph will look you know what i'm saying or how the graph will actually um be represented you know what i'm saying all right guys do enjoy the rest of your day and i trust you understood what i was doing here um stay blessed have a fantastic day